and welcome to the Township Committee meeting of May the 14th of 2019. Ms. Bork, will you please call the roll? Committee Woman Holmes. Here. Committee Woman Lapani. Here. Committee Woman McCauley. Here. Deputy Mayor Thompson. Absent. Mayor Delcor. Here. Administrator Ferreira. Here. And Attorney Willard. Here. Please join me in a salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Please be advised that in accordance with Section 5 of the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231 of the Public Law of 1975, the notice of this meeting was made by the posting on the bulletin board at the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex and notifying the officially designated newspapers that this meeting would take place at the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex at 7.30 p.m. on May the 14th of 2014. Uh, first up on our agenda is approval of minutes. Uh, the, we have the approval of the April 9th, 2019 regular session minutes. May I have a motion to approve those minutes? So moved. Second. Any comments from Adeus? Any comments from the floor? Roll call, please. Committee Woman Holmes? Yes. Committee Woman Lapani? Yes. Committee Woman McCauley? Yes. Mayor Delcourt? Yes. We'll move to reports from committee liaisons and receipt of any other uh, reports or petitions. Uh, first up, committee woman McCauley. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, everybody. Just a few notes from me tonight. Uh, I think later on the agenda, you're having a proclamation in honor of Police Week, so I'll, I'm sure you'll be speaking to that. But I want to say thank you in advance to our Hillsborough Police Force for all their dedicated service on a daily basis and protecting all of us here in Hillsborough. The Office of Emergency Management would like to remind you, it's a lot of rain, a lot of flooding, uh, a lot of hydroplaning on the roadways. We have a lot of the, those side roads off of River Road and some road closures. So please keep in mind, uh, if a road is blocked off or, or uh, closed, please do not try to attempt to go around the blocks nor um, around the barriers that are there. The flowing water, if there is any across the roadways, can be very significant. And uh, it takes just 12 inches of rushing water to carry away a small car. Um, and two feet of rushing water can carry away most vehicles. So it's never, ever safe to drive or go through those types of waterways during this kind of crazy weather we're having. Hopefully in the next couple of days we'll dry some of it up. The Health Department would like to offer, or will be offering a free blood pressure screening conducted by the Community Visiting Nurses of Somerset County. That will be here at the Municipal Building um, at the room next to the library, located out to the left, on Thursday, May 16th from 11.30 until 12.30 p.m. And a quick note for the library, Somerset County Library System, uh, there's a staff development day on Wednesday, May 22nd. So just be aware that all branches will be closed on May 22nd. That's it for me this evening, Mayor. Thank you. Committeeman Lapani. Thank you, Mayor. <clears throat> uh, I attended a, recently a viewing called, of a movie called Angst. Uh, I'd like to thank the Hillsborough Municipal Alliance and the other agencies that collaborated to bring this video and movie uh, to the public. It's designed to raise awareness about anxiety and other mental health disorders in both children and adults. I was able to drop by for the beginning of the uh, movie as well as I know Mayor Delcro was able to stop by as well and it was very well attended which was, was good to see. Uh, from the construction department, <clears throat> as we know that uh, decks and all those things are being built now so make sure to obtain all prior approvals before submitting to the building department. Once you've received your construction permit, it is important to get all your inspections. Permits will remain open until all final inspections have passed. This is important to remember, especially when selling your home. DPW, it just is reminding you that uh, road improvement preparations are underway. Riverside Drive from Clawson Avenue to River Road will be having tree work completed to remove diseased ash trees. That will ensure this type of work will not be take place after the road has been improved. Uh, later this year. Registration is available online for town cleanup program. Please visit the Hillsborough website under the public works link for more information. And, and from the engineering uh, department, I should, maybe you've noticed that the left turn lane modification uh, signal at the corner of Triangle and Otten Road uh, is underway. The new poles and heads were installed recently and the wiring and electrical connections are being worked on at this time. 
Once the wiring is completed and the poles and heads are aligned properly, the new signal will be operational and the old poles will be removed. The rainy weather is not cooperating. Ah, that's a surprise. But if all goes well, the new signal should be operating within a week. From the finance department, the last day to pay taxes without interest was Friday, May 10th. Please contact the tax office if you need to make a payment so that you can provide you with a correct amount. The clerk's office was just a little reminder that the uh, county clerk, that for voters that can apply for a mail-in ballot for the June 4 primary, uh, in addition, a regular, uh, in addition to regular workday hours of 8:15 to 4, the county clerk's office will have extended hours to accommodate those who want to pick up a ballot in person. Visit the county website for more details or contact Somerset County Clerk at 908-231-7013 or County Clerk at county.somerset.nj.us. Uh, <clears throat> with Memorial Day holiday approaching, please utilize the flag disposal box provided in the hall outside the administrative office just down the hallway here. The local Boy Scouts will properly retire any and all used and damaged flags. And lastly, uh, June 15th, the Rotary Casino Night at Roycebrook Country Club uh, is accepting applications. See the Friday E-News for more details. And that's it, Mayor. Thank you. Committee Woman Holmes. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I took a ride on the senior bus uh, last week and uh, it was really eye-opening the senior bus takes our seniors to their necessary doctor's appointments trips to the local grocery stores banking institutions post office and local retail stores our bus also provides transportation to our senior fitness program which enables the participants to maintain their level of activity the bus operates from 8 a.m. through 4.30 p.m. The area of travel our bus services um, include are all of Hillsborough Township and to Robert Wood Johnson Somerset and the surrounding physicians. And even more, I was very impressed with the bus driver. Her name is Dawn. She knew everyone that got on the bus. She knew their situations. She knew their husbands. And when the seniors get on the bus, they talk to each other, they shop. So it becomes an outing, and it keeps our seniors very independent. So um, I just wanted to give a shout out to our transportation, our senior bus transportation. Next on here is the YMC a hop and green living wellness fair as one of somerset county's premier road races hillsborough ymca hop 5k brings families and the community together in a fun race that encourages everyone to strive for their and reach a personal fitness goal on june 1st the Hillsboro YMCA will sponsor the 17th Hillsboro Hop 5K, which will kick off Healthy Hillsboro, a day to celebrate healthy living in the community. Once again, the race will begin at Hillsboro YMCA and end at Hillsboro Municipal Building, where the Green Living and Wellness Fair will take place. Don't miss out on this community event. In addition, Dr. Robert, and please forgive me for mispronouncing his last name, Ilowit? Ilowit? What he said. Of the Dermatology Center in Hillsboro will provide skin cancer screenings from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. during the fair. Skin cancer is the most common type of cancer, and early detection can lead to effective treatment. So you need to register, and to do that, you call the health department at 908 369 Five six five two, and they'll tell you everything you need to uh, get your checkup. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. A uh, number of items for me today. Uh, first of all, uh, back on April 28th, uh, we've had a big a couple weeks since our last meeting. Uh, we had our our sixth annual run around the park, uh, sort of the kickoff to the uh, nice park season that we have. So we do a 5K starting at Ann Van Middlesworth Park and it goes up through into Woodfield Park. Uh, we had a bit of a rainy day, so it was a little tough on some of the runners, but I uh, appreciate everyone coming out and uh, helping us kick off our park season. Uh, and then on May the 4th was, uh, was a pretty full day. Um, we started out 
Uh, I was joined by the Deputy Mayor Thompson, Committee Woman McCauley, and Committee Woman Holmes uh, for a few events here at the complex. Um, the first event, uh, we dedicated uh, a bench to a longtime Hillsborough Recreation Soccer uh, advocate and uh, club founder, uh, the late Tony Ford. Uh, he was very uh, instrumental in helping get our soccer program up and operational in town, uh, a huge soccer advocate, and um, had a tremendous influence on a number of, uh, of young people here in Hillsboro uh, taking up soccer. So uh, we had a bench dedication right here at the municipal complex out at our, uh, our soccer fields, and um, I was glad we were able to have much of his family join us for that, for that morning. Uh, then uh, we came inside that day. There was a pet adoption day, which was hosted by Girl Scouts, Kristen Caruso and Carly Schwartz, both honor roll students, uh, and they were representing Girl Scout Troop 60576, and the uh, adoption day was part of their Silver Award program. So I wanted to thank them for doing that, and uh, I believe they had a pretty successful uh, pet adoption uh, day that, that uh, Saturday. And for the record, Mayor, it was very successful because now on Saturday we're picking up our rabbit. Ah, there you go. <laughs> I'm not happy. No. <laughs> not the dog date you're holding? <laughs> no, that's a whole other story. There's another story about the dog. <laughs> There's a, no, I'm not going to say it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, after, after we met uh, with the pet adoption folks, uh, we, we went out and uh, spent some time with uh, Eagle Scout Jack Schwark. Uh, of Troop 186 and a number of volunteers that were working on um, a police garden. Just in the back entrance of the building, there's an open field. Uh, they had a beautiful uh, boulder that was created and they're putting a plaque on there for the, uh, for the police department and uh, a number of, of plantings went on. So that's part of uh, his Eagle Scout project and uh, we look forward to seeing that completion. And then finally, on that same day, May 4th, we went out to, um, to Patadar, which is the Indian specialty grocery store uh, here on Route 206. Uh, Deputy Mayor Thompson and Committee Woman Holmes, as well as our business advocate, David Coyce, and a number of the members of the EBDC joined us for that, uh, for that ribbon cutting and celebration. So I wanted to thank them for, um, for uh, one, for opening their business in Hillsborough. We always love uh, the opportunity to, to uh, open some new businesses here. And uh, we wish them very well in their, uh, in their endeavor. Another business opening we had uh, was um, not so much an opening as a, as a new location, was Natural Systems Utilities, which is a, a firm here in Hillsborough that uh, actually does uh, wastewater treatment plants throughout the country. Um, and uh, they, had, they moved into their, their new location off of uh, Township Line Road. Community Woman Homes joined me for that, uh, for that ribbon cutting. And uh, once again, always fun to, to cut the ribbons at, uh, at new locations for, for our businesses here in town. Um, we've got a couple events coming up in town that I want to make sure everyone was aware of. Uh, first of all, we've got our uh, annual Salute to Veterans Breakfast, which will be held on Saturday, May the 25th. The sign-up for that is through our Recreation Department. The breakfast is followed by uh, the Memorial Day Parade and our Garden of Honor Commemoration Program. Uh, we would like uh, sign-ups. If you know a veteran that's here in town, uh, we'd love to have them join us at the breakfast. It's always one of the highlights of the, uh, of the year for us, getting the opportunity to hear from our veterans about their service and what Memorial Day means to them. Um, I'm also extremely pleased to announce that uh, retired Navy Captain Timothy Jordan it will serve as our Memorial Day Grand Marshal for that day. Uh, Captain Jordan earned his commission through the United States Naval Academy and holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Physical Science. He served over 30 years in a variety of, of assignments in the reserves and active duty. Uh, during his deployments to Iraq and Afghanistan in 2006, 2008, and 2009, Captain Jordan served with two separate Marine Corps commands and the Navy Seabees. His personal military decorations include the Defense Meritorious Service Medal, the Joint Forces Commendation Medal, two awards, the Navy Commendation Medal, two awards, Navy Achievement Medal, two awards, Operation Iraqi Freedom, uh, OIF, Operation Enduring Freedom, OEF, and various other ribbons and unit awards. 
In civilian life, Mr. Jordan is a retired professional firefighter for the city of Hackensack, Local 218, and is trained in numerous firefighting strategies, emergency management operations, and weapons of mass destruction procedures. Uh, he's a uh, resident of Hillsboro since 1991. He lives here with his wife, Karen, uh, his wife for over 33 years, and has also worked as a substitute teacher in the school district for over 15 years. Um, so we're very pleased to have Captain Jordan join us as our Grand Marshal on, uh, on May the 25th, and I hope uh, we can get as many residents out as possible to help us uh, commemorate Memorial Day for those that have uh, served the ultimate sacrifice in protecting our freedoms. It's, uh, it's really a, a moving day, and uh, we hope you're able to join us for, uh, for a Memorial Day commemoration ceremony. Okay. Um, last night, I had the opportunity to attend uh, the Board of Ed meeting uh, here in Hillsboro. Um, I had sent a letter to the uh, to the Board of Ed, outlining some concerns that we had. With uh, as you, as many of you know, there's a very challenging budget process that the Board of Ed is going through this year. Um, there's a a uh, number of cuts that are being made to, to various programs. Uh, in addition, there's uh, sort of a new fee process that's, that's ongoing that the board is undertaking uh, to provide uh, for fee revenue for the use of, of certain Board of Ed assets, including their buildings. Um, for over 30 years, we've been able to uh, work with the Board of Ed on providing a location for our summer camps that are run through the Recreation Department. Um, as a result of some of the fees that uh, the board is implementing on the on the township, which uh, we found out about about 10 days ago, um, it's a significant amount of money that uh, may impact the location of some of our of our uh, summer camps this year. So we're we're evaluating various options. Uh, certainly, the board has the right to determine what they would like to do with their assets uh, and their buildings, um, but. It was a little disappointing that we didn't have the opportunity to have a bit of a, of a dialogue on the impact of those fees and how we could work through the process of ensuring that Hillsborough's families, and there's about 300 families that participate in our summer camps, to make sure that those families were not negatively Im impacted uh, by the process that we're going through. Uh, I hope the board will take under consideration uh, the process. They've indicated they'll respond to us. Uh, later this week on uh, what they intend to do as it relates to the request of, of not assessing those fees, at least for this year, so we can ensure that our camp programs uh, operate in the manner that we uh, had promised uh, a number of the families that are already signed up for the program, but we will know uh, shortly what that process is. So those families that have signed up, uh, we may end up having to change the process a bit, but more detail on that to come uh, over the coming days. Um, interestingly, we, you know, we do still continue to run a number of community connections with the high school. Um, we, we partner with the school district on many initiatives, and one such initiative is the community connections at the high school. Uh, the following events will be led by students from the community connections class, which is uh, led by Mr. S uh, Scott Callens in partnership with Hillsborough Rec, uh, Parks and Rec program. And this class is a service learning course designed to empower students to facilitate progressive change within their community through partnership with local government and private businesses. We have two events scheduled with that group. Uh, the first is being the 2019 field day for the, for the high school students. Field day 2019 will offer a variety of games for students to participate in such as a home run derby, volleyball, spike ball, and many more. And field day will be held on Tuesday, June the 4th from 3.30 to 5.30 at Ann Van Middlesworth Park, and the event is free to all current high school students. And the second event is scheduled for Saturday night, June the 8th, which will be a movie in the park featuring Despicable Me, Sign In Will, um, that was the name of the movie, I wasn't referencing myself. Um, <laughs> Sign In will take place from 7 to 8 p.m. with the movie following shortly after once the sun sets and uh, we can get the movie up on the screen. Uh, this event is also scheduled to take place at AMV Middlesworth Park at a cost of uh, just $5 per person. So uh, please help with these uh, community uh, 
process that uh, these students are going through. I uh, love to have good participation in these events. And speaking of community events, our Hillsborough 2019 Independence Day celebration and uh, music fest and firework are scheduled for Saturday, June the 25th. Uh, that event will take place uh, starting at about 5 p.m. That's again will be at the Auton Road Intermediate School. Uh, shuttle buses will run from the high school and uh, this year will be a little different as we will actually combine uh, two events. Last year we also had a music festival in town. Uh, we'll run the music festival as part of the uh, community celebration so it'll give us an opportunity to, for people that want to come out early uh, bef well before the fireworks to listen to some local bands. Uh, local musicians, including a number of high school students, as well as there'll be food and games and activities for uh, for the kids. So we look forward to that. Always a, a tremendous turnout at our uh, at our fireworks celebration, and with the added benefit of the music festival, we expect it to be a really uh, tremendous event. So I hope you can join us that day. Uh, I would like to thank everyone that participated in the National Mayor's Challenge for Water Conservation. Uh, the Wyland Foundation is still tallying the final results. Uh, we'll keep you posted as Hillsborough did in the competition, uh, but we, we uh, made it. Uh, currently, we're ranked 33rd, and we hope that uh, that process will continue to improve as more votes come in. But thank you to everyone uh, that worked to conserve some water over this, over this time. Uh, Finally, uh, for all of these events and other things, if you want to stay connected, as always, you can stay connected with all the events via uh, the Hillsborough e-newsletter, uh, which comes out every Friday. If you haven't signed up for that, we do have some uh, cards in the back to sign up. Uh, in addition, you can uh, check us out on Twitter uh, through our Hillsborough Twitter feed. TV29 and the Hillsborough YouTube channel showcase our meetings and Hillsborough The Good Life episodes and Hillsborough Alerts. Uh, which provides traffic and emergency notifications. So uh, lots of opportunities to stay connected and make sure you know what's going on here in Hillsborough. So with that, we're going to move on to our proclamations. Um, we ask that after you receive your recognition, if you would please return to your seat until all the recognitions are complete, and then uh, we'll take a brief pause for those that may want to leave. Uh, but uh, this way we can make sure everyone gets recognized with a full group here. So first up, we're going to um, recognize a number of, of teachers here in the district uh, for their, their Teacher of the Year recognition. Uh, first up, I'd like to call up Gina Kay. Gina Kay, a health education teacher at Hillsborough Middle School, has the honor of being named as Hillsborough Middle School's Teacher of the Year for 2019. Ms. Kay has been a member of the Hill Hillsborough School District faculty since 1997. She initiated an after-school CPR AED training program and wrote a grant to receive new mannequins with devices that provide real-time feedback regarding correct compression depth and rate. Ms. Kay has certified nearly 300 students in adult and child CPR and AED. And moreover, she won a contest to bring artist Kelly Sullivan into the school as part of an international art and empowerment project known as the Mighty Fingers Facing Change. The Hillsborough Township Committee commends Gina Kay for being recognized as Hillsborough Middle School's Teacher of the Year, and we thank her for all her work and dedication to Hillsborough's youth and students. Congratulations. I just want to thank um, the committee for recognizing the Teachers of the Year. Uh, we do work very hard to bring great education to our students and provide them with opportunities for real life situations. And um, I appreciate that that was recognized and we are being honored here today. So thank you very much. Lois has got a good job. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, can I call up Jennifer Tuller? <clears throat> Jennifer Tuller, a computer literacy teacher at Hillsborough Auton Road Intermediate School, has the honor of being named as the Auton Road Intermediate School Teacher of the Year for 2019. Ms. Teller began as a member of the Hillsborough School District faculty since 2000. She has revamped the computer liter literacy curriculum to include digital citizenship, which includes di digital safety, security, and ethics, as well as computer science and coding. She's an active member of the school leadership team, school climate and safety team, and wellness committee. She also teaches technology classes to staff members and runs six different coding clubs at Auton Road Intermediate School. The Hillsborough Township Committee commends Ms. Teller on being recognized as the Auton Road Intermediate School Teacher of the Year, and we thank her for her work and dedication to Hillsborough students. Congratulations. Thank you everybody for coming out this evening and for having this recognition ceremony. Very much appreciate the honor. Thank you. We also have a uh, recognition for Miss Nancy Patrick, who uh, unfortunately could not make it here tonight. Um, but we're going to uh, to provide the uh, the proclamation to Miss Tuller. If you would take that with you, yes. and just uh, we'll still read the uh, note. Miss Patrick has been a member of the Hillsborough School faculty since 2000. And she has been an advisor of the National History Day for the past five years, sending a student to the national competition annually. Ms. Patrick is also advisor of the National Geographic B, which sends candidates to a state competition. Furthermore, she has assisted in implementing a recycling program as an advisor of the Auton Road Intermediate School Goes Green Club. So the Hillsborough Township Committee commends Nancy Patrick for being recognized as Auton Road Intermediate School Teacher of the Year, and we thank her for all her work and dedication to Hillsborough students. Thank you very much. And Mary Ellen Davies. Mary Ellen Davies, a computer resource teacher at Hillsborough Middle School, has the honor of being named as Hillsborough Middle School Teacher of the Year for 2019. She has been a member of the faculty since 2006. She created a certified student tech assistant program to add a student dimension to her tech coaching effort and to ensure everyone has access to time of need support. Mary Ellen Davies taught German for nine years before becoming a computer support teacher slash technology coach where she enriched young minds for five years. The Hillsborough Township Committee commends Mary Ellen Davies for being recognized as Hillsborough Middle School's Teacher of the Year, and we thank her for all her work and dedication to Hillsborough's youth and students. Congratulations. Thank you very much for recognizing this achievement. I really appreciate it. So we're going to recognize uh, National Peace Officers Memorial Day as part of National Police Week. Is anybody participating in that? <laughs> Come on, Lieutenant. <laughs> You're in the room. 
1962, President Kennedy, Kennedy proclaimed May 15th as National Peace Officers Memorial Day in the calendar week in which May 15th falls as National Police Week. The members of the Hillsborough Township Police Department play an important role in safeguarding the rights and freedoms of the citizens of our community, protecting them against violence or disorder, and protecting the innocent against deception and the weak against oppression or intimidation. The Hillsborough Township Committee urges our citizens to join in commemorating law enforcement officers, past and present, who by their faithful and loyal devotion to their communities have established for themselves an enviable and enduring reputa reputation for preserving the rights and security of all citizens. The Hillsborough Township Committee therefore proclaims the week of May 12th through May 18th, 2019 as National Police Week in Hillsborough Township and honors those law enforcement officers who through their courageous deeds have made the ultimate sacrifice in the service of their community or have become disabled in the performance of duty and let us recognize and pay respect to the survivors of our fallen heroes. I'd just like to thank the township for uh, recognizing the police department and uh, police week. It's a, uh, it's a really great week for law enforcement uh, to ride down to Washington, D.C. Uh, that you guys have probably seen on uh, TV in different places, so thank you. Recognizing Building Safety Month. Sure. Sean, you might as well stay up here for a little bit, too. <laughs> Hillsborough Township is committed to recognizing that our growth and strength depends on the safety and economic value of the homes, buildings, and infrastructure that serve our citizens. Our confidence in the structural integrity of our buildings is achieved through the devotion of vigilant guardians, including building safety and fire, pre fire prevention officials, architects, engineers, builders, tradespeople, design professionals, laborers, plumbers, and others in the construction industry. Building Safety Month is sponsored by the International Code Council to remind the public about our critical role of the local code officials, our community's unknown protectors of public safety. No code, no confidence. The theme for Building Safety Month 2019 encourages all to raise awareness of the importance of safe and resilient construction, fire prevention, disaster mitigation, and new technologies in, in the construction industry. The Hillsborough Township Committee hereby proclaims the month of May 2019 as Building Safety Month and encourages our citizens to join with our communities by participating in Building Safety Month activities. And we have our, our uh, our building uh, official here, uh, construction official, lead, uh, John Fiedler. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor, for the recognition. Um, building Safety Month uh, also includes Building Safety Week, which is included in Atlantic City. The International Code Council, who writes all the national codes and standards that we uh, have to administer, uh, recently announced additional part participation in that conference next year, which is good to hear. And. Um, on behalf of the Hillsborough Building Department and the uh, New Jersey Building Official Association, just want to say thank you for the recognition. And uh, we look forward to keeping our bu buildings safe here in Hillsborough because safe buildings endure and safe buildings protect your investment. So, helps your resale. Thank you. And we're going to keep John up here right now because, as he noted last week, there was a, uh, um, a, a, a seminar, a, a conference is the word I'm looking for, conference last week in, uh, in Atlantic City uh, for building officials. And John Fiedler, uh, Hillsborough's very own, has been named the construction official uh, of the year for 2019 at that conference. Now, 
So John Fiedler has been the construction official for Hillsborough since 2005. He's an active member of the Central Jersey Code Officials Association, also since 2005. He's the chairman of the Finance and Audit Committee and continues to serve on the scholarship and nominating committees. John served as the chairman of the Municipal Construction Officials Association of New Jersey from May, 10, May 2010 through April of 2013. And he's an active member since 2005, serving in multiple leadership roles. He was unanimously elected as the 2019 Construction Official of the Year due to his tireless efforts within the Municipal Construction Officials of New Jersey organization. And he was honored during that Building Safety Week Awards luncheon on May the 2nd of 2019. Hillsborough Township congratulates John on this tremendous recognition and him being named the 2019 Construction Official of the Year. And it speaks volumes about the quality of employees that we have here in Hillsborough. John, congratulations. Thank you once again, Mayor. Um, this couldn't be possible, these type of achievements couldn't be possible without the support of your family, for one. And uh, I have three of my five kids here now. One is a police officer on duty, so uh, congratulations to them also for uh, Police Week. Um, my beautiful wife and daughter, who unfortunately couldn't be here with us. But uh, also the support of our committee, the administration, our very good staff here in the Hillsborough Building Department. Um, the Municipal Construction Official of New Jersey is a statewide organization. The award was named for Mr. William Connolly, who was the author of the New Jersey Uniform Construction Code back in the 1970s. And at the recent conference, uh, Mr. Connolly presented me with the award and uh, gave a little bit of background of uh, how that code was written and how far we've come. So I look forward to continuing to serve Hillsborough. It's been an absolute pleasure so far. Thank you very much. So, at that same uh, conference last week, um, we, Hillsborough was uh, pretty well represented, I must say. Um, Hillsborough Township Municipal Clerk, Public Information Officer, Communications Director, and OEM De Deputy Coordinator, and longtime Hillsborough resident, our very own Pamela Borak, was awarded the Municipal Clerk of the Year at the Municipal Clerks Association of New Jersey 2019 Education Conference. has served as the Hillsborough Township Municipal Clerk since December of 2012. She has served on the advisory board of the MCANJ for 2000, that's the Municipal Clerks Association of New Jersey for 2016 and 2017. The People Page Editor for the Quill, a member of the Somerset County Municipal Clerks Association since 2012, was secretary for 2015 and 2016, and currently serves as the president of the County Association since 2017 in addition to being presenter at numerous uh, municipal conferences. The Hillsborough Township Committee joins the Municipal Clerks Association of New Jersey in saluting Pamela Bork for being named Clerk of the Year for 2019, an award, and thanks her for her dedication to Hillsborough. So really incredible. We've, we've got uh, an amazing staff here in Hillsborough to have two of our officials recognized uh, as their uh, as the leads in the state in their respective fields is uh, is really an amazing accomplishment and Pam uh, well deserved congratulations thank you mayor thank you committee um, similarly to what John said this 
things like this aren't possible without um, obviously the support of the mayor and township committee, the administration, and all the employees here in Hillsboro. And I'm a broken record when I say I love what I get to do every day and I love coming to work. And when I was away for the conference, I actually couldn't wait to come back and <laughs> I'm a dork. Um, but thank you. And um, thank you to my family who has to put up with me not being around so much, but I'll be around a little more lately. So thank you guys. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, my sister from Florida. Come up. So. <laughs> um, but again, thank you to all my colleagues here. You know, it's really amazing to me. We never seem to uh, run out of proclamations to give in town because we really, between our uh, municipal employees, between the incredible teachers that we had here tonight uh, with Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts and people doing work for charity, it's, uh, it's amazing how frequently we get to honor people, but uh, it's because of the community that we do have here. So congratulations to everyone that was recognized this evening. Uh, thank you for making our community a better place. Um, as promised, uh, we'll take a quick break. If you'd like to leave, uh, we'll give you that opportunity. We'd love for you to stay, but we understand if you'd like to go. So we'll take a quick uh, break and then we'll uh, reconvene shortly. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you again to all of our proclamation recipients. Uh, we are gonna move on to the rest of our agenda. We have no new business this evening, so we'll move on to public comment on new business and matters that are not on the agenda. If anyone from the public uh, would like to comment on uh, any new business, now is the time to come forward. No? Okay. Okay. Now is the time for public comment. Okay. Seeing none, we're going to move on to, uh, we don't have any public hearings or new ordinances this evening, so we're going to move on to our resolutions. Um, does anyone on the dais wish to take any item separately uh, off of the agenda list? Okay, seeing none, just a couple of items to note from me on this list. Resolution number four. Uh, very pleased to announce that the first phase of our roadway improvement program which was announced a couple months ago, uh, will soon start. Uh, Clawson Avenue, Riverside Drive, South Triangle Road, uh, Raider Boulevard, Euclid Avenue, Wurtsville Road, Cardinal Lane, and Westcott Road were all part of a uh, bid that we went out uh, to uh, have all that, that work done. We've received the bids back, and we do uh, expect now to uh, uh, award that contract tonight for this uh, paving work, and we do expect to begin some of that road paving project uh, within the next month. So very excited about having some of that work done. Of course, the road paving will be dependent upon whether it ever stops raining here in Hillsborough. Um, if it does, we'll start paving the roads. If it doesn't, uh, then uh, we got we have other problems. Uh, so we have that. And I would also like to welcome uh, Deb, Deb Eng to the, uh, to the township. And uh, congratulations to Mary Decker, who's going to be moving into a new role uh, in the police department. 
So, may I have a motion to approve the above resolutions? Mayor, I just wanted to uh, add to that, if, if I could, for a second. Uh, as you mentioned on uh, consideration number 13 uh, with Mary Decker, um, she had a successful uh, career in administration as well as municipal courts. Um, and I want to welcome her to the police department. I know she'll have as much success as she's had in the other departments. So, welcome aboard, Mary. Uh, in consideration number 14, Deb Ng. Um, as part of our program that we've had in the township for many years, uh, Deb has worked in many of the departments throughout uh, the township um, as a floater and uh, have been given that opportunity to work with many department heads and now uh, landing, and thank Deborah for being here as well, a department head, uh, landing in tax, so I feel very successful there as well um, and starting her career full time there. So, welcome aboard both ladies. All right, and Kaz, you got them both? All right. <laughs> okay, can I have a motion to approve the above resolutions? So moved. Second. Any comments from the dais? Any comments from the floor on any of those resolutions? All right, seeing none, can I have a roll call, please? Committee Woman Holmes? Yes. Committee Woman Lapani? Yes. And welcome. Committee Woman McCauley? Yes. And Mayor Delcourt? Yes, congratulations to you both. Look forward to, uh, to your new roles. Okay, we're going to move on to claims list 2019-08. Uh, can I have a motion to approve that claims list? So move, Mayor. Second. Second. Any comments from the dais? <laughs> comments from the floor? Roll call, please. Committee Woman Holmes? Yes. Committee Woman Lapani? Yes. Mayor McCauley? Yes. And Mayor Delcourt? Yes. And uh, that does actually conclude our regular meeting this evening, but we do have an executive session uh, this evening. Ms. Borak, will you please read the executive resolution? Whereas Section 8 of the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231 of the Public Laws of 1975, permits the exclusion of the public from a meeting in certain circumstances, and whereas the Township Committee is of the opinion that such circumstances exist. Now, therefore, it be resolved by the Township Committee of Township of Hillsborough. In the county, summers of the state of New Jersey is filed. The public shall be excluded from the discussion of the here and after specified subject matter. Number two, the general nature of the subject matter to be discussed is as follows litigation, affordable housing, attorney client privilege, lease purchase agreement, and contract negotiations, Township of Hillsborough, and Board of Education. Number three, the Township Committee may take official action on those I have discussed in the Executive Session upon the completion of the Executive Session. Number four, the minutes of those discussions shall be made available to the public as soon as the matters under discussion are no longer confidential or sensitive nature, and this resolution may take effect immediately. Okay. Um, motion. May I have a motion on the Executive Resolution? So moved. Second. Any comments from Adeus? Any comments from the floor? Roll call, please. Cody Woman Holmes? Yes. Cody Woman Lapani? Yes. Cody Woman McCauley? Yes. Mayor Delcourt? Yes. Thank you. Uh, we're now going to go into executive session. Good night.